really well, I hope you're all good. So as you know, I love a good statement wall, especially a hand-painted mural. I love the freedom of painting on the massive canvas of a wall, creating something on a much bigger scale than usual. But sometimes it can get a bit fiddly, a bit overwhelming, translating a smaller image or an original sketch into a much larger size. So today I thought I'd share with you a way that you can create a stunning, impressive piece of decor without having to exert your creative skills whatsoever. So first of all, you want to find an image that you want to use for your mural design. I'm very keen on sticking to royalty free images because as an artist myself, I hate the thought of stealing someone else's creative content. Not only can you get in quite a bit of trouble for it, but it's just not a decent thing to do. Thankfully, there are tons of images and illustrations online that are royalty free. I was recently contacted by graphicstock.com who rather than charging for each individual image, like most stock image sites, they actually offer a monthly or yearly subscription service where you have access to over something like 300,000 graphics, photos, illustrations, and vectors, which I think they said was the largest download library of its type online. Now, if you're not sure if you wanna sign up, they do also offer a seven day free trial where you can download up to 140 different images, which I think is enough to get a feel of the kind of service they offer and also to get your hands on a few great bits and bobs for free. So having had a look around, I decided to go for this image because I thought it would really suit the area that I was painting. I also saved a couple of other images for future reference because I thought one of these bikes would look great in a hallway, leaning up against a wall, and this motivational quote would look great blown up above my desk. Now that I've got my image ready, it's time to blow up and make this projector. I've seen a few versions of this DIY floating around YouTube, but this is the way that works best for me. So all you wanna do is take a cardboard box and cut a square or rectangle out of it. Don't forget to take your time and mind your fingers. Next, you'll need some clear plastic. You can use one of those clear envelopes that you get in folders to separate things, or like me, you could use a sandwich bag or a freezer bag. Then you can either print out your image and trace it from the paper onto your plastic with permanent marker, or simply trace it directly from your screen. Then place your plastic sheet over the window that you cut out of your box and pop a torch or your phone inside. I'm usually fine just balancing my phone against the back wall of the box. You can also put things inside the box to lean your phone up against. Then all that's left to do is turn off the lights. And there you have a super simple projector. Now, if you don't have permission to paint on a wall, you can use this method to blow up an image onto a large canvas or even make a nice tapestry with it. Now just line up your projection with your wall or canvas, adjusting how close or how far you are to change the size. And if you're working outdoors like me, you would obviously just have to wait until it's dark. You might need to rest your box on a chair or a table to get it to the right height. Just experiment with positioning until you have things how you want. Then the rest is simple. Just follow the lines that you've projected onto your wall and then map out your drawing or painting and get started. I usually use acrylic paint for wall designs because it's got a bold color and it's water resistant. And if you're working outside like me, you might wanna finish up with a varnish or a sealant just to make sure it's durable enough to withstand weather conditions. And there you have it. Don't forget, I've left a link below to the Graphic Stock website if you wanna try out their seven day free trial. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.